Okay, that's out of the way. Let's see what the hell you got going on here as I was shuffling because I didn't even get a real chance to finish. And here we go, another another card that comes out. Gee whiz, y'all are tripping. Y'all are tripping right now. Y'all manifest the love. Okay, manifest the commitment because these two came out already. I feel like I remember. And then you have the Nine of Cut, Nine of Pentacles. I don't even know which order these come into. It came in now because I was talking beforehand. But magician, confidence, manifestation, long-term commitment. You guys feeling a little bored right now. This is a dual board of my activities. But you are trying to do some different stuff. I feel like you guys are like taking care of business, tending to your needs at this moment, tapping into a little bit of a fantasy land, having trying to have a good time, and you're trying to resolve this kind of boring ass energy. And I feel like with you guys having more of a life putting yourself out there doing whatever you're doing to get rid of this boring ass energy right now because it's tedious work at the moment i feel like you're finding it's very hard to kind of do something new and do something different that's not boring the hell out of you it's still like it's a lot of work you know that you have everything you need you know you're doing all that greatness but i feel like you in the manifest and some sort of offer in the process because you're doing something that's different than the regular shit okay so let's go ahead and see what's going on in your love lives this uh, this is good. This should be good. This should be good right here. All right. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius and their love lives for the next couple of weeks. The Emperor, see, I'm told, telling you, divine masculine energy. So y'all are going to be interacting with somebody that's in their divine energy. Or you guys are very much in control of your own lives, your own selves. Gee whiz. We got a lot of stuff going off, y'all. I didn't even get a chance to finish shuffling the first couple times. See what I'm saying? You are manifesting a new opportunity with somebody again. Of the new potential love. Ace of Cups is in your dog on present. <laughs> Future is a chariot. Y'all are tripping. You guys make me laugh. Because you guys just be doing stuff on accident. And I feel bad because you guys are more about friendships and your relationships. But it's like, ooh. <laughs> Who though? <laughs> okay. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, work. <laughs> the ace of pentacles i feel like you guys have a new perspective but now it's about integrating that new perspective but that integration in new then that new perspective is opening a new door opening a door of new possibilities opportunities all that wonderful cool stuff that you guys may or may not be interested in now the nine of wands excuse me that's saying i want not a cups in the crossing energy of it, it's like it's fate right wheel of fortune is faded like there's nothing you can do there's nothing you you know it is what it is and I feel like the thing that's crossing it is this Knight of Cups, right? This person is going to be coming in hot and with a cup to offer. And I feel like it's either you or somebody that you know. It could be someone younger than you. We'll see. But the situation is this person is coming in great with a great deal of love in their, in their cup. Like they have a cup of love they're willing to offer you. They want to offer you. They've been wanting to offer you for some time. Now, the situation is this in the Ace of Pentacles region here in your foundation energy. Wow, I just realized you have two aces in this reading. Oh my God, Scorpio, I mean Aquarius. Well, you know what? Maybe you all need to check out Scorpio or something because maybe, maybe there's a reason why I said Scorpio. For some of y'all, maybe you all dating a Scorpio right now. But the Ace of Pentacles in the past, this was a scene though. Ace of Pentacles, that's a new beginning. It's exciting and all, but you know what? Pentacles are slow. You may be seeing or feeling the results of it now because what's in your present? The Ace of Cups. The Ace of fucking Cups. The Ace of Cups, y'all. In your present, you guys are feeling this new change happening, this new beginning. And obviously it was slow at first. You probably didn't really see anything. You're just like, okay, this is cool. We're going in a certain direction. And then now you're starting to feel it and it's like, oh, oh my God. Wow. There's a lot of shift, but there's a lot of focus on how you feel. There's a lot of focus on your emotions right now. There's a new beginning, but y'all probably don't see it because you guys are really focusing on how you feel as you should, right? You should be focusing on yourself. You should be focusing on what you feel. That's it. That's the only thing that you need to be focusing on. Trust me. And I feel like you focusing on what your needs are, your enjoyment, how you feel in the moment. That's perfect because as it's opening the new door, it's allowing you to get you to, to achieve victory. And I feel like it'll sh truly shut the door on some things that you've been feeling that may have been missing in your life, which is probably connected with friends, having more fun, 
having a party, celebrating your life, maybe doing things that are a little bit more exciting. And I like this. The Knight of Cups, he always finds things to enjoy his life, very similar to the Knight of Wands. He goes with how he feels. That's why it changed so frequently and that's why he's so inconsistent. And I feel like right now there's a change right now, a change in luck and based off of what you're feeling. And I feel like that may bring in somebody new. I will bring in somebody, if, if not someone new, because usually the Knight of Cups is not someone new. It can be, but it's like the Knight of Cups can also be your dear partner, but it's usually a friend or a lover that wants to be more than just that very thing that they set out to be okay this could be that somebody comes into your life and offer you a cup of love and i feel like that's the victory card right or things really start to pick up and move forward because i feel like you more so focused on what it is that you're wanting that this person comes in a lot faster the progress of that will move in faster if this is the person that they're talking about coming in but i feel like with this five of cups situation your grounding energy yeah i do get the sense that you guys really just are tired of being in a state where like you feel things are missing things are not fun you're going to integrate that stuff on your own that's why them that's i feel like that's what the emperor came out earlier and not just that your masculine your, your your divine masculine energy is taking control of your situation which of course it is but you also are no longer going to be facing the situation that, oh man, if, I wish I had this or I wish I had that or there's something that's not here. And you're like, no, nope, this, you know, I'm just going to add that now. So that being said, you have the six of wands in your external energy. Already y'all proud of the things that you've been doing. And sure, it may have been a little bit of work, like I said before. It's been a lot of you know, busting your busting your ass a little bit, but it's worth it. I feel like you guys are seeing that it's worth the work, it's worth the effort because you feel like you're getting more out of life, I think. Because the Knight of Swords, excuse me, this I keep saying, I don't know why I'm saying all the damn knights with the fucking card itself. The Six of Wands is very proud of himself. It's very proud. And as a matter of fact, this Ace of Cups, this is coming about because you are being seen. You are doing things that you're proud of this, you know, that you're going about, you know, they're addressing how you feel in the moment. You are doing all these things that, and it's putting you in the spotlight. All right. Don't get discouraged by me saying that, but it is you being seen, you being recognized. You're thinking, how am I going to be manifesting somebody in my life? I'm just changing my life up. I'm not really trying to get anybody's attention. You're doing it by accident. Guys, if you haven't noticed already, you be manifesting stuff on accident. That's what you, that's just what you guys do. You just be like, mm, I want this. Like, Ooh, that'd be cool to have. And then it happens. It happens. It's just like, what? How do y'all do that? It's because y'all don't mean to. It's just like, you just think it's cool for a second. It don't matter to you. And then boom, it pops up in your door. You're being seen right now. A lot of people are going to be surrounded by your energy because your energy is good. It feels great to be around for those of you out there. Some of you guys may not resonate with this, right? But some of you guys... You know, people are gravitating to your energy right now. People are recognizing your energy. You're going by what you feel and what you want. You're going to get more suitors. But that doesn't mean I mean, everybody's worshiping here, right? Everybody's like, oh my God, this person's amazing. Seeing this, this is kind of the celebrity card to me. I know the star is the celebrity card, the star and everything. But this too is, is another one. And I feel like. The more you do what you want to do, the more you feel, you know, you go based off of how you feel in the moment, the better things will turn out. The, the cooler things will turn out for you. It won't be so difficult. And it won't be like, and, and it's then and it won't be freaking hard to, 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 to figure out how somebody came into your life to try and switch you off your feet. Okay. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The Knight of Wands coming up in your outcome, which is, indica is, is indicating here of some sort of lighthearted energy. Okay. It's lighthearted energy. It's an offer of something non-serious. Now, that could indicate to straight up, maybe there's somebody around you right now. Or maybe there's somebody that's going to come into your life, offer something, something fun, something, some sort of adventure. But we'll see how much we'll see what this where this goes because you know with every little small offer can be some amazing big ass stuff just saying so let's go ahead and see what's going on in your romance angels aquarius y'all like hopefully y'all are not shitting your pants oh hopefully some of you aquarians out there are like clicking your heels enjoy 
but just don't worry don't focus on the person of course you focus on the person become obsessed with the person they're going to slow down just continue to focus on what you feel focus on how you feel i will not be surprised if love yourself falls out i'm just saying love yourself first i'll be i would not be surprised oh well you guys have like several different cards but you got two big ones that came out so we're going to take the two the other ones are not going to be sh i didn't see the other cards clearly enough so they do not get selected but this is what y'all have you all have new love which i just taught the ace of cups in your damn present a new person has stirred your romantic feelings if you haven't had someone come into your life this person may come very soon do not discount this card completely and what did i just say aquarians what do you do on accident manifest calling in your soulmate okay your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together okay i'm getting real crazy because this is fucking crazy i'm just gonna say this straight up it was better than love yourself first just to be straight up with y'all better than love yourself first calling your soulmate a new love good luck aquarius okay and i say this with love okay I'm a fucking Venus Arch Angel here, okay? I love relationships. And you guys getting ambushed with love is just the greatest thing ever. It's like, ooh. But it's not, because I know how you guys feel. Like, friends are great value to you guys. Getting ambushed with love is like, I'm sure, like, I don't know. Some Aquarians actually like surprises. What's this? Oh my goodness. Nurture all you love. And that's very interesting right there. I like that. Nurture everything you love your messenger of the oracle card i love messenger oracle cards okay if i could i would just use messenger of the oracle card oh messenger or messenger oracle and the wisdom of the oracle those two are like the bomb diggity but i like the other two as well whispers of love i love that and romance angels is all right but by doreen virtue and i'm not going to get into that kind of discussion at this moment but let's get back to your reading right nurture all you love what does that mean right guys it means take care of your needs do what you need to do for you boo because you are important and as long as you focus on what you need to be doing for you you're gonna be doing everything right you're gonna be hitting, hitting all the notes you're gonna be doing the best that you can it don't matter who comes in because they it's on their way they're on their way calling your soulmates have been in but the thing is is just continue to focus on your needs just 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 listen listen to me focus on what you need to do for yourself in the moment because right now it doesn't matter what who comes in or not the second you focus on someone else coming in you screwed just focus on yourself focus on what's fun for you focus on having a good time damn it we're in libra season you should be doing this anyway enjoy yourself have parties go out with friends do some things that you enjoy eat food take naps whatever just enjoy, nurture yourself, do what you love, and you do so, it, it, people will recognize that. It, you'll great, things will just happen. Magic will happen. Don't do it to make, to make magic happen. Do it for yourself because you deserve it anyway. To be straight up, but you just do, do nurture yourself because you deserve it anyway. The adventure is coming. But right now you got some stuff that you you just create you know on here and it's exciting as hell 